Okay, Ryan here with Accelerate Marketing, and today we're gonna to talk to you about how to leverage the LSA phone app to the nth degree so that your entire team is able to get onto the LSA app. Because right now, if it's just you, you're not optimized. You're not leveraged. You're not leveraging your time, your team's time. Watch this video, implement the strategies that we're talking about here. We'll teach you how to dispute calls through the LSA app and do many, many more things that I'm sure you don't know how to do. Even how to identify your CID so that you can send that over to our team. By the way, if you wanna text the word audit to 619-304-5155, we'll spend an hour or more running an audit of your LSA page to help you identify the issues the problems that are keeping you from getting the number of leads that are really going to help you get to the next level with your business. Okay. We can do, we'll do that for free, totally free. Just text the word audit, A-U-D-I-T to 619-304-5155. Watch this video on how to leverage the LSA app and many more things so that you can take your business to the next level using local service ads. Okay, so these are the things I'm going to show you how to do, how to log into the mobile app, how to dispute a call, how to text back message leads, how to text back call leads, how to book a call, how to archive a call, how to call back from the app, how to request a review, how to add notes, how to listen to a call, how to get the transcript, and how to find your CID. Okay, so first and foremost, this is the mobile app right here, and you can find it by going to the Google Play Store or Apple Play Store, and you can just type in Google Local Service Ads app and you'll be able to find it. So if you open the app, you're gonna be asked which account you want to use in order to log in. And you might have to add another account, but if you get the email that says you've been invited, then you click on accept the invitation, and then it should take you to this page or some same some page similar to this, and you're going to have to log in to the email that you received that email at. And that's what's going to allow you to, to manage your Google Local Service Ads account. How to dispute a call. Okay. So we're going to go to one of these calls. And you can only dispute one that actually has these three little dots right here. And then you would go to dispute. Or you would tap into the call and then go to the dots up here and dispute it here. This is a lead that's calling about service that we offer and it's definitely a, a good lead so i'm not going to dispute it but that's how you go through the process of disputing a lead or dispute a call how to text back a message lead so to do that it's really simple you just go into any one of these that's the interesting thing about this about the app is that you can actually message back either call leads or message leads okay so if this was a message lead then this would instead of a missed call it would say exactly what it is that 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 person is messaging and then you would just tap here to respond to them okay so that's how you respond to a message lead and then how you respond to a call lead is the same way is you just go in to a lead that is a call and then you would go down to the bottom and you would go to write a message and that's going to send a text to that person because they've called with their cell phone. You're gonna send a message back and then that message is gonna to go to their cell phone. I hope that makes sense, okay? And then, so you can respond to people that call you or send a message lead to you, okay? It's really important that you guys understand that. How to book a call, okay? So to book a call, you just go down here to where it says book and then this is where you would book the call. So this is where you book a call. When is the appointment? You can either identify already completed or upcoming. You can ask for a review now if you've got their email address. And then you can check this box to confirm that the, the, the customer agreed to receive this. And then you can put in even more information, like the customer's name, the job type. You can see it gives you all the job types there, the location, and the price estimate. So this way you can get even more information on the type of leads that you're getting Okay, over time you can identify the return on investment, which is really, really good. How to add notes. So how to add notes, you just go in here to the app, you would go to the lead section, and then you go to to one of these, any, any one of these leads, and then you would just go in here to the notes and you would start adding notes in there, okay? And that really helps to identify what's going on with a prospect, et cetera. And then how to listen to a call. This is great. It's really important to be able to listen to calls 
So what you got to do is, again, you want to go to the lead section and then go to one of the calls that actually has a, a recorded call. Go to one of the leads that has that. So then you go here to go to show recording and then you just tap on the play button and then you can listen to the call, okay? So that's how you do that. You can listen to any one of these recordings to get more information on what's going on, how to get the transcript. Okay, that's another thing that I want to show you. So again, you always start going in the lead section, go to any one of these active leads. I know this one has a transcript. So you go here and then see where it says transcript, tap on that, and then it'll give you the entire transcript of the call, which is really, really powerful to be able to see the transcript, okay? And then how to find your CID. So it's really simple. You gotta go to the three little bars up here in the upper left-hand corner, and then down here where it says customer ID. That's where your customer ID is. Okay, now there are other sections here. You can see the archive leads here. And again, you can change the, the date range for any of these, which is great so that you can see more of what's going on. Instead of just from October 1st to December 26th, you can go further back. So you would go here, so you would tap on this upside down triangle and you can identify leads by job type, et cetera. So I hope that makes sense. It makes it real easy to customize your range. So that's archive leads and then reports. This is really good. And you, again, you can change the date range here of these reports. And it, it really does show you some good information. It shows you the disputed leads, the phone, the message leads, the booked leads, and then the average cost per undisputed lead. And then you can see about how much of a credit you're going to get back based on the approved disputes to give you a more accurate identification of what your true ROI is. Okay. I hope that makes sense. And the other thing is I wanted to identify also how to call back from the app. I don't think I did that. So if I go back in here, go back into the app, go to the lead section. Yeah. So this one you'd want to call back. Okay. As soon as after this call was missed as possible. And you do that by pressing this little button right here. And then at the bottom, it says call, you tap that, and then it'll call that person. And that makes it so that it's not counted as a missed call. That's a very big secret, okay, to know and to have. So you want to call any leads back that you missed by using that phone feature, okay? That's really it. The only other thing is, is just, you know, going back to this tab, you can actually go to the review section here. It doesn't really work that well. If you ask for a review, it's supposed to bring a drop down here, I think, but it's not really working. So I think the best way to do it is the way that I showed you before. And then you can see there is some more information here under the profile and budget section, but the only things that you can change are the job types, the business hours and the service areas, which I would not recommend changing. These are things that can really get you in trouble if you change them too often, especially the budget which you can't change on the app. But I hope this makes sense. You know, using the app is very important, especially getting as many people on the app as you possibly can, okay? You wanna get as many of your team on the app so that you have as many people as possible calling people back and responding to message leads. And there's a secret to doing it and our team can help your team get set up to get as many people on your intake team on the app so that you get everybody to start responding to these message and inbound phone call. Thanks. Again, 619-304-515, or just text me there and I'll respond if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye-bye.